Hi, I'm Jeff Devine with Divine Ministries. You know, everywhere we go, we like to encourage believers to share their faith and explain to them we're all called to be light, we're all called to share our faith, and we're all, in that sense, in the ministry. And one of the main excuses I hear is, well, I don't really know the scriptures. I haven't been to Bible college. I don't know all of these things. And there's a lot to be said for being equipped and prepared to go more in depth into ministry. But at the very least, we should share our testimony. Our testimony is powerful. That's something no one can take away from you. That's an experience that you had, a born again experience that is real. And it, it can help draw people to Jesus. And I'll give you a couple of reasons why that excuse is not is not a good excuse. Uh, Jesus one day, John chapter four, I believe it is, he goes to this well and he meets a Samaritan woman. Well, the Jews had nothing to do with Samaritans. They thought they were too good to hang out with them. I think they were mixed right between Jew and Gentile or something anyway. So Jesus meets this woman and he asks her to give him some water. And so she's like, how is it that you're a Jew and you're talking to me? He says, well, go get your husband. She said, well, I don't have a husband. He said, well, you're telling the truth because you've had five husbands and this one that you're living with now is not your husband. She says, I perceive you're a prophet. You know, he knows everything about her. And so she says, well, we Samaritans, you know, we worship on the mountain. You Jews worship in the temple and the synagogue. And, and um, Jesus said, well, you know, the day's coming. In fact, it's here now. And you'll no longer worship in either of those places, but you'll worship in spirit and in truth. And she says, well, I know this. I know, the, I know the Messiah is coming, the Savior of the world. He's coming. And Jesus says, that's me you're talking to. So she's excited. She drops her water bucket. She runs into town. She tells everybody. Everybody comes. He ministers to them. They beg him to stay. He ministers to them for two days. Then later they come to the woman. They says, you know, we were drawn. We were intrigued because of what you said, how this man talked to you and what he told you and what he said to you. Now we believe because we've met him. We've heard him for ourselves. And, you know, that's a work of the Holy Spirit. Our testimony can draw people, you know, but it takes that personal encounter uh, with Jesus to have that born-again experience. And that's not our job. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. We sow seed and draw people. That's all we can do. And, you know, another example is uh, Jesus arrived at this place and there was a demon-possessed man. And he spent his days and nights in the tombs, cutting himself with broken pottery. They caught him several times and chained him, and he'd break the chains. And so he runs up to Jesus, and Jesus basically gets to the point. Jesus casts the demons out of him. And they go into a herd of pigs, and they run off into the sea and drown. And then, by the way, Jesus, uh, the devil, he basically destroys everything he possesses. So... The people, they hear about it. They come. They're upset. They've lost their pigs. They don't want to hear anymore. They want him to leave. And so the formerly demon-possessed man begs Jesus, let me go with you. And Jesus says, no, you go back. You tell your friends and family the compassion that God has shown you. You tell them what God has done for you. And it says he goes back. He tells everybody in his city what Jesus had done for him. And it says the people were all amazed and they all marveled. And I'll give you another example. Jesus meets this guy and he's blind. Been blind from birth. Jesus makes some clay, puts some clay in his eyes, and the guy's eyes are open and he can see. And this was on the Sabbath of all things. And so the Pharisees hear about it. So they bring this guy in for questioning. They says, who did this? And he says, well, I, I don't know who, who it was. He says, all I know is I was blind and, and now I can see. And so they're saying, well, this guy must be a sinner because a sinner wouldn't have, he, you know, a, a godly man wouldn't have healed on this Sabbath. And so they question his parents and his parents say, look, you know, this is our son. He was born blind. Now he can see. You know, they were afraid the Jews were going to put him out of the synagogue and then they couldn't go and couldn't do sacrifices and basically excommunicate him. So they said, look, just he, he's a grown man. Ask him. So they ask him again. And they said, who is this man? And he said, well, I, I don't know. Perhaps he was a, a prophet. And so they're upset. They're divided over who this man could be. And they question him. He's, look, I've already told you. Look, all I know is... I was blind, and now I can see, because that man touched me. He didn't know anything other than what God had done for him. He didn't know scriptures. He didn't even fully know what he had encountered. All he knew is that his encounter with this person changed his life. And, you know, I would think if you were blind all your life, and you encountered Jesus, and, and your eyes were open, 
I believe that's something you'd want to share. I believe that's something you'd be excited about and you'd want to tell everybody you know about. You wouldn't want to say, no, let me wait and study the Bible. Let me get all studied up and go to Bible college and all that before I share my experience. No, I say you should go out and tell everybody, if nothing else, you tell them your personal testimony of what Christ has done for you. And you know, let me tell you this, a good testimony is not listing all the sinful things you used to do. And then the little footnote is, well, and now I go to church. I've heard that kind of testimony. That's not a testimony. A testimony is glorifying God over how he changed your life. You delivered. He set you free. You were delivered. Your eyes were opened. You were born again. That's an amazing testimony. You give God all the glory, not the devil for what you used to do, but share your testimony. There's no reason not to. Sure, it's good. Hunger for the word. Study the word. That's good. You'll learn more about who you are in Christ. You'll learn more about what all he's done for you and what all he's given you. And you'll, you'll be set free. And it's amazing what all he has done for us. And yes, it's good to learn those things. But at the very least, you go immediately. You tell people what God has done for you. You share your faith. Just something to think about. God bless you.